Hey everybody. I love this new look. Hey Too Smooth, how you doing? Hey Asma, how you doing? I see y'all. Can y'all see my hand? I wait till I get this to this computer come on. This computer can't be serious. Come on and cam up with me. Now, do y'all see me? <clears throat> hey, TKO. How you doing? Sort of kind of playing peekaboo so I get some light on in here. You're going to have some light in a minute. I see me now. Yeah, I got to kind of excuse my hair. For some odd reason, I just can't sleep. I'm trying to at least catch a nap. At least a two-hour nap. And I'm going to get me one regardless. I just got to feel, feel tired enough to get it. I was just thinking, y'all want to hear some kind of crazy, out of the ordinary, rude, and disrespectful that happened to me, like, recently? I was up here, well, one, one incident a little while ago. I was live streaming on a different platform, a different social media site, Bego. Well, both times it happened to me on different occasions, different days, two different people on Bego. 
I mean, don't get me wrong. This can happen on any social media app that you can live stream on. And I do repeat, this can happen on any social media app that you can live stream on. Just about because you got rude and disrespectful people all over this world. Especially when you are a live streamer. Like me, because, um, you know, I live stream on the side. I get paid to live stream on the side. One incident. I'm live streaming on Beagle. You know, being active. Doing what I'm supposed to be doing on this, um, as a live stream or whatever. Some guy out of nowhere comes to my live streaming. Come to my live stream yesterday. Well, not yesterday, a couple days ago. Um, and busted out and asked me, can he ejaculate in my mouth? Out of nowhere. I'm like, are you, I'm like, get out of my live stream right now. As a matter of fact, I just blocked him. And then just yesterday on this same app, once again, minding my own business. I don't know, being active, you know what I mean? Some guy going to tell me, I give you three for 25. I'm like, three for 25 what? What is she talking about? Some of that, some of that, I guess that yak, that crazy stuff. I'm like, okay, again, be more specific. I'm still like lost, didn't know what the heck this person was talking about. Again, I'm minding my business, live streaming. I give you some, some crack. I was like, get out of my, I have to tell this person, get out of my live stream before I block you and report you. And he was like, I give you $5 worth of crack. If you bend over and show me your behind and shake it. I was like. I will be reporting you for sure. I was like, sir, you don't know me. I could be the police. I could be some type of informant. A big time snitch. You know, anything. Oh, I sell to the pigs too. I was like, okay. I'm like, well, will you sell to the person who owns Big the um, the Big O app? Because I'm gonna sneak on you to him. He got mad and said, damn, you're a snitch. I was like, oh, yeah, well, you're a disrespectful little B-I-T-C-H. Now, hurry up and get off my live, and I will be reporting you, like I said. Haven't heard from this man ever since. That is the, you know, as a live streamer, that is the crazy, that is just... The thing about being a paid live streamer, you, you go through people like that all the time. The haters, the rude people, the disrespectful people. That's just crazy. I got, I got even more more stories to tell you about the rude encounters I can't cross with these out-of-pocket people. That dish, they just be out-of-pocket and it's just for no reason. Just for clout and for content, I'm like, is this is what y'all this is what y'all consider live streaming to be? Because I don't want to be like that. <laughs> and to tell you the truth, uh, with both incidences, I just busted out laughing. That's all I could do because I found it. Now, I mean, don't get me wrong, as as, as uh, rude and disrespectful as it was of them to just out of nowhere do that. 
I found it more hilarious than anything that y'all that they would come to someone's live and just do stuff like that. I had one person who called me bald headed and I needed to go buy some hair. On here on, on Instagram here. Call himself telling me and calling me bald head and I needed to go buy some hair. And I told him why should I when I came into this world with a head full of hair. Halfway, somewhat down, not halfway, but somewhat past my um, my shoulders. No perm, no chemicals, no weave, no nothing. Blocked me. I laughed at that. I got many more if y'all want to hear it. I had one who called cause who called herself being so rude to me. She was like, and, and this is another one who was uh, here back to Beagle. Another one on there who told me, <laughs> how you doing, bald head? I was like, I'm not bald head. I had to tell her the same story. Why I'm not bald head. And then I was like, just go ahead and get on off here because you sound young, dumb, and stupid. What's up, dark side? And it was like, what was I about to say? She was in, this person was telling me, oh, hush up, you ain't nobody's parents. I was like, yes, I am. I am somebody's mother. I'm also somebody's grandmother. And then she just bust out and said, I bet both of your parents is dead. I was like, they sure is. Where's yours at? I, I, you know what? And I was like, you know what? I'm going to pray for you. I was like, where is yours at? How you doing, dark side? I was like, where is your parents at? I was like, as a matter of fact, it looked like the whole neighborhood done been through you, little girl. So I wouldn't be talk bad talking to anybody if I was you. She ended up blocking me. And then, well, she thought she blocked me. And then, I went to her live, and I was like, oh, you're an ugly little girl. And your attitude shows you're an ugly little girl. Then that's when I turned around, and I ended up blocking her. Man, the story of these rude people, they be cracking me up. They really, they, they, they call themselves assault, insulting the hell out of me when they making them, when they be making themselves look bad on here. And I got plenty more stories of these people being like this, like I said. Had another one on Facebook, y'all. Called me ugly. I was like, how you, how you looking like a jungle monkey? Calling somebody ugly. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, here we go. People be having a nerve, you know what I mean, y'all? Just be having a pure nerve. But there are some good sides to live streaming, too. Because you do meet some friendly people. Some very, very friendly people. I mean, live, being a paid live streamer is not all bad. And not all bad people are on there. Some or half of them are and half of them are not. And like I said, I've met a lot of good people on here too. And I'm very good friends with a lot of people on here too. And they do support me in a very, very good way. And in all kinds of ways. You know what I mean, y'all? I just sort of kind of had to get that off my chest about live streaming. The good and the, the good people and the bad people. And for some people... You got people who get more viewers 
than others as a live streamer. But but you can get a whole lot of viewers as a live streamer. And you can make a lot of money as a live streamer. And like a podcaster. You know? That's why a lot of times I even ask for support in every way. Before in fashion. I am looking for something here. I know it's in front of my face. Just we're at in front of my face. I don't know. I to get out of freaking bed just to do it. Just to get it. But yeah, um. Yeah, um, yeah, you, you, the, I'm, I, I'm basically telling you the good, the bad, and the ugly. But you also got to be careful as a live streamer, too, because you got them creepazoids on here. As well as if you have, like, not only as a live streamer, but you got to be careful with these social media apps as well as being a live streamer. Because you got to watch out for them creepazoids. And of course, the scammers. <clears throat> you know, and that and that's the ugly part of of getting involved with social media and live streaming, podcasting, all that stuff. That's the ugly part to me. Hold on, y'all. I'm right here. Like I said, I'm just looking for something here. But yeah, y'all, who wants to cam up with me? I'm going to be talking about other things too, so. Not just that. Okay. Know what I'm doing now. Know what I'm doing. Hold on, y'all. I may have to get out of bed for this. <sighs> oh, right in front of my face. Oh, Jesus. The snake would have bit me. So what's y'all stories about about um like live streaming or your jobs that you have to work that your or your jobs that you work or used to work? What is what is your what is the job that you like the most and the job that you like the least? Well, what was the I can, I'm a I'm a re ask that. What's the best job you worked and the worst job you worked? That's even better for me to ask.
Hold on, because I'm going to tell you my, my best job and my worst job. Here I am, y'all. My best job. Hmm. I have several of my best jobs that I've worked. So therefore, when I come to my best jobs that I have worked, I'm going to tell y'all. But I do remember clearly my worst job that I have worked. It was Joanne's Factory in Stowe, Ohio. That was absolutely my worst job. You he have gotten no breaks. They'll work you to the bone. And everything just had to be mandatory. And just, oh my Lord, sweet Jesus. That was my worst job. But I have several great jobs. As a matter of fact, one of my greatest jobs that I have is the one that I have now. Because I'm certified to work from home. And I make my own hours. I can go anywhere in the world and work. And everything. You know what I mean, y'all? Mm -hmm. What about y'all? Where everybody at? Everybody must be getting ready for work or still sleep. And that's all good, because I hope they see this um, live streaming. Darn it. So therefore, I'm going to have to say, make sure y'all like, subscribe, share. Like, subscribe, share, tap the screen, leave a tip. If y'all want to panel up with a sister, come on with it. Because you know I'm with it. You know it's um I always like, like if I'm not working, I always say this too. And I do always say this. Make sure y'all check out my profile and page. Not only do I conduct business on here, but I do like to have fun on here. 
I'm also, I am on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Beagle, to, um, TikTok, all that. My usernames to every last one of them should be posted on here. And if you're checking out my videos on YouTube, I will have it several times as a thumbnail. Oh, I gotta steal this one. I'm about to mess everybody's head up with this one. With, with what I'm about to post. I know someday I will get someone, get some people to panel up with me. I know this phone here got to be almost charged up. And as it should be. It's going to act up on me. Look at how it's starting it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I hate when I know I owe people and people just bug me. Like when I get the money, you gonna get the money. I know I owe you. And I know I told you when I was gonna pay you and all that stuff. Hold on. Especially when there's not a you know what I mean? They be so freaking petty with it. Hopefully, I will catch everybody later on, so I can do this, so I so everybody can panel up with me. Until then, everybody, I will see y'all later. Bye bye. I'm trying to wait till well, I'm gonna wait till I um get up to thirty minutes, and then it's gonna be bye bye. Trying to wait, trying to wait, trying to wait. Eight more seconds. Six, seven, eight, nine. And bye-bye, everybody.